What is going on everybody? My name is James. Welcome back to another episode of My Path to Power. Before we get into the episode, if you guys are looking to pick up some MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out thegamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code JAPES to get your 5% discount on their instant delivery. And we are still rolling with this 4321 pub stomping uh, dream team. Well, it's not a dream team. Well, it's being realistic. It just it just isn't a dream team. And I backed out right there because it flashed yellow bar. Thank goodness the latency bar is back. It's uh, it, at the beginning of this FIFA. It was absolutely brutal, and I haven't played a really laggy game since it's been put back in because I can kind of say, hey, this guy's got an unstable connection. I'm just not interested in that, and or my connection to his connection is unstable. Whatever it is, however it works. It's unstable, and I don't want any part of that. So I managed to eventually find a match uh, here, and it's against X Jazzo, and he's got an interesting team, 99 Chem. I wasn't really sure what to think about this team. Um, I think that his team is on full Chem, I'm or close to full Chem. He doesn't have a manager, so he's not quite getting it. I'm trying to figure out which player isn't on the full chemistry, um, and I'm not sure which one. He was actually a pretty decent player, and unfortunately, his connection drops. Not unstable, but it drops right here, so there's no way to see how that game would have turned out. It's 0-0. The match system in the tournament deems that, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to just go ahead and take your... Uh, contract and take your fitness, but you're going to have to replay that round. Okay, not a problem. We can uh, get on with that. We had a few things sell on. We have about 27,500 coins uh, sitting up there, and I wasn't sure the direction I was going to take with this team, and I went out and I started looking at some Bundesliga players, and you know who I stumbled across. A player that was once upon a time a god in Path to Power. Yes, Hong Min Sun. I wanted him back. I wanted the 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 previous legend to make a return into the lineup so i went out and i picked him up i also went out and i started looking at strikers for the bundesliga because the bundesliga defense and ilkay gundogan are really really good players for me in this team i think i'm going to keep them and i'm going to transition this team to a bundesliga lineup but i have more coins now than when we visited the Bundesliga before so I can get some of the better players. I'm also going to sell on a lot of the expensive players that weren't from the Bundesliga. Fabregas, Fernandinho, uh, David Silva, Rondon, Hulk. That's going to give me a nice chunk of coins to play with as well and get some really, really decent players in. I went with Solomon Kalou as my striker to start. Now, I don't know if he's going to be the guy for me uh, moving forward, but with that said, I've heard some really good things about him and he's got what look to be nice FIFA stats. Decent pace, good dribbling, decent shooting, decent passing, four-star skills. A lot of the things that I'd say, yeah, this looks like a player that I expect to do quite well. And I went out and I picked up a manager because we've got players like Luis Gustavo who says a CDM. I'm going to play him as a CM. And I just wanted to get him up to that nine chemistry. He'll eventually get 10 chem uh, if I play 10 games with him. But for the time being, getting him up to 9 chem was the was the general goal, the, the way I wanted to do it. So we've got Hongmin Sun, uh, Luis Gustavo, KPB, Kem Prince Boateng in the lineup, Thomas Muller up front, and those are and of course uh, Kalu and Hongmin Sun. Those are the new additions. This is the new look, and honestly, I much prefer it. The team plays a billion times better, or is a billion times more stable. I think stable is the word that I'm looking for right there. And when I refer to it being stable, it's just, it, it, it's more fluid. It flows really, really nicely. And I don't know why. Well, I do know exactly why, because I can't help myself going for a good chip. But that one was just poorly weighted uh, and not timed very well at all, but managed to win it back off from a mistake from him. And that fake shot turn, no matter what situation you're in, is just a lethal maneuver. And it's Hongmin Sun on the debut, slotting it in at the near post. So glad to have him back in my lineup. He is good this year. I will be waiting on him to get an inform because undoubtedly, uh, at least in my mind, he will pick one up. And I will be picking up that inform in a second. Uh, very, very, very enjoyable card to use. Uh, Grosskreutz to Gustavo to Muller to Kalu back to Muller. And uh, Felipe Luis started to catch him. And I just used a little left trigger to just body him out. I don't know what that guy was doing with David Luiz right there, though. Um, he kind of forced David Luiz in. And I don't think he was on the full cam. But those three-star skill moves are just too much. You can just be a or way too pred or unpredictable. 
uh, with Thomas Muller. I wish he had four-star skills. I don't think it's anything you'll ever see happen um, in FIFA, but just basic fake shots. And as soon as I saw him hit sprint with David Luiz to try to get in front of me, I knew that the fake shot was going to be on. And you're going to see one of the biggest errors that I've probably made in Path to Power this season right here. Uh, I tried to angle this back to the keeper, and I just played Andre Sherla in like it was nothing. He's been using Sherla as a striker, and honestly, I was pretty impressed. It's Again, it's another one of those players on 7 chem. Uh, he's set as a left forward, playing him up front as a striker on that 7 chem, and it actually seems to work out pretty well. But Thomas Muller, beasting, and just too much strength. Right there, I got myself into a bit of a jam, because Gustavo's right foot isn't spectacular. I didn't really want to cut it back, so I just stopped and tried to draw a penalty, and I was successful in doing so. Basically, you just hit XA, stop the ball, and then when the guy's coming in to try to make a tackle, you start to do step overs. If they don't time it very well, they'll clatter into your lead foot while you're doing a step over, and you're going to get a penalty more often than not. So it's kind of a ratty strategy, but I, I panicked, and I didn't know what else to do there, so that's what I went for. Um, and it ends up working out. We're going to go and put Thomas Muller on that 85 penalty, get him yet another goal uh, with the club. He is actually very well suited to this right forward position. Um, and it's nice having an 86 rated. Obviously, David Silva was 87 rated, but Thomas Muller, very much, very, very, very enjoyable player. He, he definitely embodies that playing a uh, or putting a guy that you'd want to play as a striker at the right forward spot. And here he is again. He's just releasing. And you can try to pull him down, but it's just not going to work. That's a little left trigger, right trigger out to the side. And it's, uh, if you guys remember way, way back, I did a tutorial on the slalom dribble. It's not as... It's not as good this year, but you can still do some of the different things. As long as you're exiting at a 90-degree angle, it's going to work out pretty well for you. And Thomas Muller, a little fake shot inside, some step-over action just to get a little bit better of an angle. And he tucks it away at the near post. He's got wonderful finishing, so it's no surprise that I was able to put that away. Now, this is Andre Sherlin. and I'm, I'm sitting here, as this is happening, going, Japes, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tack. Oh, wah. A really frustrating goal to kind of give up, but um, in the 70th minutes, 4-2, still a two-goal lead, feeling pretty confident about it, and that's actually the way this one would come to a close. I picked up, I think, a needless red card in this game. Um, so with Kevin Grosskreutz, he was kind of away, and I just mistimed the tackle. Uh, I thought I was going to get it. I just really poorly done. So you can see I ended up moving Grosskreutz to striker, bringing on Tremolinas, who, who we still have as my right back, and just playing with the left forward and right forward as my striker, and it actually worked out just fine. Hongman Son and Thomas Muller together did a wonderful job for the majority of that game. So where you can see we're up to 71,833 coins at this point. We've had some stuff that did sell on. Uh, it's Rondon Silva and Fabregas giving us a nice coin total. So I'm going to leave it to you guys. If there's a player that you'd like to see me pick up from the Bundesliga, let me know who that player is in the comment section down below. I, I can obviously work towards getting a striker like Lewandowski, who would be a huge boost. Or I can go out and get players like Schweinsteiger, Götze, um, maybe get Jerome Boateng in there. But actually, Socrates and Benatia do the job. I'd probably replace Benatia before I'd replace Socrates, and that's largely because Benatia has the high, high work rates, which means he can get caught out from time to time. But I need a replacement for gross crits. We're going to go, and we're going to pick up Sebastian Young on a buy now. 400 coins. Don't mind if I do. He's a very, very similar player and will slot in nicely. None of the gold uh, right backs in the Bundesliga, other than peace check, I would say, are kind of elite right backs. They're just solid players that you can kind of slot in and they'll do the job for you. But that's where we're going to come to a close of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I mentioned on Twitter, I will be fully moved in on Friday, which means we'll be back to a normal stream schedule on Monday. Uh, and I will be doing a lot more double uploads. I've got a lot of series that are going to be coming back, so I'm excited to do that. I hope you guys are as well. Thank you all very much for watching. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.